For those of you who don't know, I've been trying to work on a SAS starter kit, which is basically a collection of code and documentation that you can purchase. And then you can basically just start your own SAS project yourself. I have everything kind of built into it out of the box, such as emailing, authentication, authorization. I plan to add organizations to it as well. The one thing that you'll probably end up needing if you're building a SAS product is the ability to write documentation. So if I go ahead and click view purchases, that'll take us to the documentation guide of this starter kit where you can actually write the documentations using Markdown. And that's something new I ran into with Next.js is that they have a way to basically write your Next.js routes using Markdown. You just have to run through and configure your Next.js configuration like this. And then down here, there's an additional file you have to kind of set up. But once you do that, you can actually make .mdx files just like you would normal Next.js app route or pages. So for example, I could do like a bullet point list. I could say like, please subscribe to my channel. If I save that and I go back to my starter kit, notice that those in the documentation automatically show up. So this is something really cool. Now I, I was gonna use Nextra and just kind of bundle that with the starter kit, but as I was reading through this, it seems like this isn't even like maintained. They say they only support the pages directory. So they don't even support the app router, which made me a little bit hesitant. And then again, you're bundling your own SaaS product to some other third party a library that may or may not be maintained in the future. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to do my own MDX approach using this Next.js MDX, which I found to be very, very convenient to use. Now, the really cool thing about MDX in Next.js is that you can actually use real components here, right? So if you notice in the page, I'm exporting some JavaScript here, and that's going to change the title. So if I were to go ahead and just put some ampersands there, look up here at the title, notice that those show up at the top. And by the way, if you do want to get an email when the starter kit is launched, you can subscribe to my newsletter. Go to webdevcody.com. I'm down here and click that subscribe button. If I ever finish this, I'll send you on an email. If I don't, I guess you'll never get an email. But yeah, so you can actually do other things too as well. Like if I wanted to add a next link directly in here, like obviously you could do a normal um, link like this. So I could say like Google and then over here I could say like HTTPS Google.com. If I save that and go back, we have a link that we can click and that'll take us to, uh, I think I might actually have it backwards. Let's see. Yeah, I think I have it backwards. My bad. Let's try that. So that should say Google and then I should be able to click it and it'll take me to google.com. Okay. So you can have links like that, but you can also just import real components. So I could say link and then this could go to my like dashboard. So I could say like dashboard this and I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can import this one. Importing is a little weird because it's not TypeScript. You actually have to like manually import stuff, which kind of sucks. But now if I go over here, you see that it says dashboard. I click it. It's just the next link, just like you would with normal Next.js. And the beauty of this is that you can build whatever component that you want. Let's say you wanted a component that allowed people to generate API tokens directly here in your documentation. You can just import that component and it'll just work. So this is really powerful, especially when you're building out documentation because A, it helps you write the documentation faster. Markdown is by far like the standard way to write documentation and just like blog posts and other things like that. So that's a benefit, but then the ability to sprinkle in your React components or Next.js components just makes it that much nicer. Now, I will say a lot of the stuff I had to roll myself, like the thing on the left, this is actually just a custom component um, that's inside of a layout. So like I have a left navigation over here where I just kind of made a giant array data structure. So it's a little bit more manual process than if I were to find like an, an actual like documentation library I could hook into it. But for the most part, I mean, this works. And then over here, these quick links, this is something I had to build custom as well, where if I go over here to right navigation, it's simply just looking through the page, finding all the H2s, and then just converting them to like um, links that you click, and those will take you to um, anchor tags, right? So again, this is all a work in progress, but I do plan to basically walk you through, if you do purchase this starter kit, how to set up all your different OAuth providers, Google, GitHub, how to set up R2 for your file storage, Stripe for your payment gateway, Urso for your database, Recent for your emails, and then how to deploy it all out, and then also plan to walk you through the code base in case you're not really familiar with how I have all this code kind of set up. So yeah, be on the lookout. Just wanted to share that with you all. The MDX stuff on Next.js, really powerful. And I highly recommend that you use it in your project, at least if you need to use documentation or blog posts. Have a good day and happy coding.